My name is Norihiko Harada. I am a chief designer in Zagato. I have been working for already 17 years in Zagato. People love so much, so much cars. There must be some secret or some magic, you know, fascination of the cars. My name is Karim Habib. I'm in charge of exterior design at BMW Cars. Architecture, I say it's sort of my creative food, if you will, because it's, I always look at it and it, it just feels like it's feeding me ideas and spirits. Driving is a certain activity you do consciously. It's not just going from A to B and not really thinking about it. And definitely for a BMW driver or I'm sure most definitely for a Zagato driver, you do it because you do it consciously. You want to do it. The way as well BMW is more from an engineering background. It's sort of based around engineering and engines. Zagato has that, that history. It's based on airplane, on aeronautical engineering. Yeah. And I think you see it. You see it in the design. What other things are typically Zagato? Spontaneity or come up with an unusual solution without fear. Then somehow turn it, to, uh, turn it into a sort of aesthetic value. That's uh, probably also, as you mentioned, it's some speciality of Zagato. Proportion is, you know, I think what makes it very, very much BMW, mm. because it is this really short front overhang, mm. this very long hood. Engine, engine's really engine, totally in the park. rear. Mm. Yeah. Uh, of course, the big wheels, right? You know, right on the edges. Uh, it's very compact. It has its own elegance. Yeah, really. yeah, mm. yeah. If we could uh, apply some Zagato ness to uh, BMW, BMW DNA, yeah. that sort of one plus one, there's it makes more than two, and I think that's that's what happened with us. And really, you know, behind the metal skin, if you, someone can feel the passion, yeah. that life that was put into it, I think it achieves that extra kind of depth to it. The bonnet is really big. They made it out of three pieces of... Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, aluminum. Uh, so it's welded as well? Welded, yeah. The biggest piece is center pieces, which is huge. That was amazing to see from uh, just a single layer of flat aluminum. Slowly, slowly start to curve and start to have a shape. And well, when I saw it, uh, this time particularly, maybe because the bonnet was one of the really difficult parts to create by hand. It's funny, but I was almost crying when I saw it. <laughs> After that, it comes with the, you know, the iron fire. Oh yeah? And they have only half a millimeter or maximum maybe one millimeter to, to make the surface smooth. All the craftsmen are the same, right? Mm -hmm. They have to do it the way their body wants to do it. It's actually amazing how much effort we, we had to put to, to realize that paint. So you have the black primer, yeah. then you have a silver, but, yeah. but non-metallic silver? It's a, a liquid metal type of oh, silver. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. this is it. And then you apply the red... Uh, Transparent. So the more you apply red, the, the it deeper becomes deeper. So that made wow. painter crazy. <laughs> but the color really turned out amazing. If I can hear also other people, if they like it, that makes us really happy. I also, I also really hope that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Nori. Thank you very much. <laughs>